All right, so today we are installing our new keyless entry RV lock or RV handle for the door on our camper van. Now on the bus, we have the old Yale or Nest lock on the house door that we had from our old house for keyless entry. We loved this because we could go take a walk and not have to bring keys with us. And you know, you're not gonna lock yourself out of your house. So we found our V lock and they're making some pretty cool products with this. So in the box, you have the two separate parts of your handles. As you can see, you got your buttons for the keyless entry there. You got backup keys in case your batteries die. You got your plates for your door frame and like an electric remote starter, you can actually unlock or lock the door to your RV with this remote. And according to the instructions, this should be a pretty simple setup. And as you can see, but this existing handle is a little janky and the deadbolt is pretty small. So that's another reason we wanted to replace this is with our travels to Europe and doing the Pan American Highway, we wanted something a little more secure uh, than the flimsy little handle that was already on this. Let's go install this lock. All right, lock is off. Also, pro tip, anytime you're working on a project like this, make sure you hold on to your existing stuff and put it neatly together, just in case your new item doesn't fit right. You're gonna have to put this all back on, so if you lose the screws, you're gonna have a hard time. So since the deadbolt is a much bigger square deadbolt versus just a small circle cylinder, on the new lock, we're gonna have to drill this to make it bigger to allow for that deadbolt to come through. But what I wanted to make sure first was was this going to fit into the existing slot before I go and drill that hole? That way I know that I'm not gonna put myself in a position where I can no longer put this back if it didn't work. I have popped this in and confirmed. I popped in both sides, made sure it would all fit. Let's drill that deadbolt hole. I wish this piece was just a little bit taller um, so that it would fit in situations like this. We have the hole drilled, not ideal, but we just used a drill bit, opened it, opened and opened. But you have this face plate that's going to reinforce it anyways. Now we just mount this face plate on and you put the machine screws through and that's what's gonna hold this front part onto the door. We don't have a perfect match on the opening of our door, so we will go back with caulking. It's because the opening on our older handle was a little too wide. Now we are going to put the inner side of the door handle on. We have the lock on the outside, handle on the inside, deadbolt switch here. A really important part that I found out, especially with our door, it might not matter with your door, but is adding the little extender that comes with the pack. This recesses where the lock is gonna catch a little further out so it catches better. Once I added this, it's perfect. Looking at the instructions, to lock it for the first time, you wanna press the lock button, then the default code, which is one, two, three, four. So let's give that a shot. As you can see, currently open. Give your default code. <whistles> Loud. Deadbolt. And then you got a key to lock this as well. That way the handle doesn't pop open. So unlock it. <whistles> Pretty sweet. Install wasn't bad at all. I mean, one of the easier things we've ever installed, it was really just getting our door frames to match up with the lock and opening that up a little bit. But the face plates that they send you help a lot so that even if you drill a little sloppy or you open up a little sloppy, as long as you can screw that face plate in, that'll reinforce it and you'll be good to go. We'll check back with you in a couple days once we start using this and let you know how we like it. All right, so we've been using our RV lock for about two weeks now, and we really, really like it. Um, our review of it as of two weeks is that it's fantastic. Uh, you guys saw the install. There's a couple little spots to pay attention to. 
but it's pretty straightforward to install. And after that, once you set your code, it just works seamlessly. Um, what we really like about it, it's really sturdy. It really just like feels quality and sturdy. The deadbolt's thicker than the one that was previously there. Um, since installing it, we've actually put caulking around it just to seal it in. As you saw, we had that gap where it didn't match up the existing hole perfect, perfectly, so we've sealed that in. Um, but yeah, so far, so good. We really, really like it and would definitely recommend uh, if you're looking for keyless entry on your RV. Cheers, friends.